Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Tonight, we continue to watch for some scattered showers out there. South and east winds will continue to pick up slowly. I think overnight tonight, between 10 as high as 25 miles an hour. And our temperatures really aren't dropping down a whole lot. We should be staying in the 60s overnight tonight. The low will be 63 in Columbus, 64 in Aberdeen, 65 in Tupelo. I anticipate some scattered showers to continue through the area with a mostly cloudy sky. As we look ahead then into our Sunday, we'll see some scattered storms early in the morning. The best chance for rain and storms will come late morning into the afternoon hours, and we'll see south winds between 10 as high as 30 miles an hour with our temperatures climbing into the upper 60s and low 70s. In West Alabama, I've got a high of 71 in Kingville and in Ethelsville, 72 in Carrollton. To the Golden Triangle, New Hope at 71, Mayhew at 71, 68 in Bell Fountain, Vaden getting to 69, and then in North Mississippi, 67 in New Holka, 66 in Ingemar, 67 also in Shannon. We'll get to 68 in Smithville and in Hamilton. Now, of course, the chances there for some strong to severe storms with this batch of weather coming on in. The main threat is really for the entire state of Mississippi and Alabama under a level one threat. That's the lowest of the threats, but still doesn't mean you shouldn't be weather aware. Even the lowest of threats can do some damage. It's more so a fact of that these will be very isolated in nature. And what we expect is perhaps some strong damaging winds, perhaps as high as 50 miles an hour. That would be the main threat here, along with some flash flooding, particularly along and west of I-55. The tornado threat remains low, but we'll watch and monitor that. I can't rule out a tornado somewhere in to the Twin States region. We'll keep you updated. And our timing is 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. during the daytime on Sunday. Now, here's what Futurecast says. Notice over the next several hours here, seeing some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder into tonight and early tomorrow morning. You'll even see a few pop up showers and storms that are ahead of this main line coming on through. I'm not concerned about that. Instead, where we get our window of opportunity for strong to severe storms is along that cold front. And you'll notice by 11 a.m., it tries to creep into our area, really not looking all that strong here. What I think will happen is, is we'll get some redevelopment along and ahead of the cold front here late morning into the early afternoon. And that will be where I think we see some of that severe threat rematerialize. Of course, we're still monitoring things and have some conditions we have to meet. But notice that heavy rain and storm starts to push out by Sunday night. And I think by about 7 p.m., we should just have some lingering showers to deal with. Now, the heaviest rain will overall be to the west of us here. Notice in Coffeyville, around two inches, same in Oxford. I think the heaviest rain is in the Delta as those storms stall out along the cold front. Once it pushes on through, though, everyone should have a decent chance of getting close to an inch with some locally higher amounts through tomorrow night. Now, one thing we have to watch is our future storm energy here. And as we check that out, you'll see there's a surge northward of thunderstorm energy. That's like fuel in the atmosphere that uses that storms use to be strong. And we'll have to see if that can make it far enough north here. I think there's enough where we'd still have to monitor things. We also need to watch our low-level winds and watch what happens during the daytime on Sunday. That low-level wind field really picks up overhead, and that means that we could get some winds to mix down to the surface with 50 miles an hour, perhaps a little higher. And even when you have low-level wind energy like this, sometimes that can help to create some areas of spin in the atmosphere, meaning we have to watch for the chance for a tornado or two somewhere into the region. So again, main timing 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Gusty winds and heavy rains, the main threat, will monitor the tornado threat. It is low, but not zero. We just have lots of wind energy to work with. The question will be, what happens with the unstable air? And if we get some sunshine in tomorrow, that will throw some fuel on the fire. We do expect, though, to keep a mostly cloudy to cloudy sky throughout the day on Sunday. Now, good news if you're looking for some sunshine and quieter weather, Monday. Coming for us mid 50s, lots of sunshine. That continues into Tuesday, likely even Wednesday. For the most part, the daytime is dry. I expect a few scattered showers into Wednesday night. Look for some areas of rain into Thursday and Friday. We should dry out in time for next weekend.